What's up guys, back with another quick tip video. Um, following up on the last one I did on multi-sampling and recording multi-sample drums to Sabre's instruments. Um, and I'll put a link in the description of this one to that video because this is kind of a direct follow-up. Um, I'm going to show you how to fully set up a uh, multi-sampled kit. So what I've got here is uh, a multi-sampled version of the Acoustic Agent Studio kit. Um, and what I did was, I, I using the method in the other video, I recorded eight levels of multi-sampling for each of the drums. Um, if we go in here, you can see here, eight different samples led to velocity. And that's the same on every drum. Now, when, when I'm working with this and setting it up, I tend to colour coordinate everything the same way. And to show you how to do that, I left the toms blank. So. I'm going to go ahead and select all six of the toms, and I usually make them purple. You'll just right click here, select color, and this one. Okay. And you'll see when I open up the mixer channels for this in a minute that I've already, th I've already set up the channels by uh, activating the outputs here and naming them um, that I've already co color coordinated and the same as this. So there's a couple things to note. In, in here, when you're talking about uh, the hi-hats, now, you wouldn't get like a hi-hat pedal playing over an open hat because the pedal closes it. So, for instance, that, you want that kind of effect. So there's a way to, a way to emulate that here, because if, if we do this now, the pedal isn't closing the hat. So, how to get around that, uh, and, and another thing that you're definitely going to want to do is with your kick drum, you're going to want to turn the polyphony down to one, because you don't want um, overlapping tail of a kick drum with another one if you get two in quick succession. It'll just muddy things up like this. So, you know, if the kick had a longer tail, that wouldn't be good at all. So we'll turn that down to one. Um, and now let's talk about these hats. So this open hat here and the shank version here, um, this pedal will do the this pedal as well. And what you can do is you can set them to an exclusive group. So we set it to group one there. Now when we hit this, the other one cuts it off. So that's another thing that needs to be done there. And then um, lastly, in the mixer, I've got everything assigned to buses here. And the way you can do that is, you know, select multiple by control clicking. And on the edit page here, down here, it would be on kit mix. And you can go into agent and then set the bus, and, and it helps to name them ahead of time. So I did that for everything. Um, and then in the mixer here, because with the beat agent kits, you can't do like you can with this, you can't export the mixer and effects to Cubase. There's no option for it here with beat agent kits, so you have to set it up yourself. So what I'm going to do here is just unhide um, all of the channels that I've already set up for this. And we're just going to send these to those to those external outs by changing from kit mix here and, and selecting them in numerical order. So I'll just go through and do this. And then the other thing you're going to want to bear in mind is you can set up a reverb send within within here still. Um, you can just send each of the buses, even though they're going to separate out, to, the, to a reverb on an auxiliary. And it will come out of the master channel, which will be this one. So it will still act like a reverb send if you've got everything else bust. But I tend to just um, do it in Cubase. So if you click here and then shift click on the far one, you can right click here and we'll add a group channel to selected channels. I'm going to call it drum bus. 
and then we'll do the same thing again shift click on there and we'll right click and we'll add an effects channel to selected channels and yeah revelation will do it's a reverb we'll call it reverb send okay and then we've got all of these now routed to a drum bus and a reverb send um, which we can control from here and it's already set them up so what I'm going to do is just turn on quick link here oops um, there sorry and select all of those and we'll just turn those down turn off quick link again Oh, actually I might just turn them off as well there we go so now we can you know we can use the style player to trigger this kit I'm gonna meet the other one because um, it is essentially an acoustic agent kit that's just been resampled and we'll see how it sounds so let's load up something here maybe something funk related um, and let's have a listen Okay, so we've got it kind of mixed a little better now, probably. Okay, so yeah, the symbols aren't as quite as obnoxious. Um, so yeah, while well, while we're working on that, um, I switch back to the instrument here. The reason that I like to do this is because we could just go through. Um, in my instruments here and any, anything that you've multi-sampled you can just drop, drop on in place um, so, so for example here I've, I've done the studio kit, the vintage kit and the songwriters kit so we can start mixing and matching studio drummer so yeah you can really um, you know <laughs> definitely make more use of uh, the style player this way that I think than using it with the acoustic agent it might not sound quite as live and quite as good but you know I think uh, it's worth going through your, your sound libraries and sources and BST instruments looking for material So yeah, you get the idea there. Um, that's kind of how you can create a multi-sample kit after you've uh, gone through and recorded all of those drum hits at different velocities, save them as instruments like, like I did in the last video. You can build up a kit using the same mapping as the acoustic agent, then you can trigger it with um, the style player, and um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of how it, how it goes. You know? set up a drum bus for it, set up a reverb and you know we could start sending some stuff to that reverb the settings on the reverb aren't right but yeah you get the idea um, so yeah that's how you can build multi-sample kits Trigger them like an acoustic agent, mix and match the acoustic agent drum kit pieces, 
um, if you take the time to go through and multi-sample them. So yeah, um, there's another video. Hope it was helpful. Peace out.